Okay, I'm back out here in my shop uh, this morning. Uh, today I'm going to be working on the, uh, the log cabin birdhouse. Uh, I'll show you a picture right here. Uh, I built one of these, uh, I don't know, probably a year, maybe two years ago, and I still have my, my plans from where I built it before. But anyway, I have a, uh, a friend of mine uh, that, that wants me to build one. Well, actually, uh, they want me to build two of them because they want one for themselves, and then they want to give one as a, a Christmas gift. So I'm out here today, and I'm going to be uh, working on, on making two of those at a time. It's a uh, pretty simple design. Uh, the, the, like I said, it's like a log cabin. The logs are actually made from these scrap pieces. These are like uh, pressure treated deck boards. And these are just scrap pieces that I have from building decks. And uh, I use this stuff when I build Adirondack furniture. Uh, so, and you can see some of these have been outside and weathered and all, but it doesn't really matter because I'm just basically going to start off with just cutting them, uh, cutting them down into one inch strips to uh, make and then I'll round them over to make them look like a little log and then I'll notch them and uh, put them together just like you would uh, logs. So the first step is going to be to uh, rip all these down to uh, one inch wide. So I'm going to get ready to do that now. Okay, I've got uh, most of my scrap cut up into these little one by one pieces here. Uh, the next step is going to be to uh, round them over a little bit to make them look like uh, little logs. And uh, one thing I might mention if I didn't mention it a while ago is uh, when you get ready to cut this uh, pressure treated deck board, always check the ends to make sure there's no uh, uh, little staple with the, with the tag on it. These are all from uh, Home Depot, which sells the yellow wood, and they always have that little staple with the tag. So even if the tag's missing, you want to make sure you check and uh, pull out all the staples because you certainly don't want to hit one of those with your with your saw blade while you're cutting. But uh, I'm going to count these up. I need uh, roughly 56 pieces, nine inches long, to make uh, the two birdhouses. It takes 28 pieces to make one. So I'm going to count these up and see if I got enough. And if I do, I'll start rounding them over. Okay, I moved my uh, small uh, router table out here in the driveway because I've got a lot of these uh, to round over, so I'm going to be making a big mess, so I figured I'd go ahead and do it outside here so I can uh, sweep it up a little easier. Uh, but that's the next step. I've got to take all of these uh, one by one logs, if you will, and uh, round them all over. Okay, I think I've got enough of these things uh, rounded over, and I don't know if I mentioned it uh, before or not, but what I'm using is a 5 16 uh, round over. If you look at one of these pieces, I think this one, yeah, this is one where it's off the side edge of the, uh, the deck board, and they have just about a 5 16 You can see sometimes it'll take a little off, sometimes it doesn't, so the 5 16 round over kind of matches the radius. Uh, that's already on them anyway. So I think I've got enough uh, enough of them done. I got a big pile of them here on my little out feed table. So I'll, uh, I'm going to start cutting them to length now.
this. So I finally finished cutting the uh, notch in the logs here. Uh, as I said a while ago, it takes a long time to cut them the way I have to cut them because I don't have a dado blade. So just stop trying to uh, hog that out there uh, on, in this case because I'm making two at once and there's 28 pieces uh, to make one of them. That's 56 pieces times both ends, so that's 112. 112 things back and forth, so it takes a good while to uh, to do this. But now I'm ready to move on and make the uh, base and the uh, the roof panels, and I'll get started doing that. Okay, you can see that I got the uh, the bases and the, uh, the the main part of the birdhouse is uh, all glued up. Uh, what I've done is I've screwed this into the bottom here so that uh, if you need to empty it out uh, every spring for a, for a new nest you can uh, uns unscrew this from the bottom and, and clean it out and, and then fix it back. I made these uh, little doors and windows that will door will go right there and have a window on each side. Ran these on the CNC router. Uh, just took some uh, primer paint and painted this looks like about quarter inch plywood and uh, put a little put a little paint down on it, let it dry, and then uh, routed it out to give it the look of uh, door and window. So I don't have a whole lot left to do. I'm going to uh, going to put the uh, front posts on here, uh, get those fastened on. Uh, I want to get the both pieces uh, stained, and then I'll uh, be putting some shingles on the roof. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Uh, Finishing these up with that. Okay, I finished putting the, uh, the posts on here and uh, ran a little stain on them. And while, I'm, while I wait for this stain to dry, I thought I'd go ahead and start uh, start cutting up the uh, material for the shingles. Uh, actually, if you don't have any shingle material, you can leave them just like this and they do fine. Um, but I like to, I have some old shingles that a neighbor gave me that were uh, the ones that we're going to throw out. So I take some pieces and I cut a bunch of 12 and a half inch by 2 inch wide strips. And then I basically take these little snips here and just cut up uh, about a half inch or so, maybe a little more than that. And then when I get, when this gets dry, I'll put these on here like that, kind of overlap them. And it gives a 3D shingle look. and. Uh, Kind of dresses it up a little bit, but anyway, I'll have to. Uh, I'm also waiting for the uh, paint on the, the little chimney to dry, so I've got to put that on there and finish cutting these shingles and put those on, and then it'll be done. Okay, here's a look at the, uh, the two birdhouses as they uh, as they look when they've got the, the shingles on them and everything. Like I said, what I do is I have just some old uh, shingles I got from a neighbor when they were re roofing her house and. Uh, I cut them into like uh, two inch by uh, 12 and a half inch strips and uh, just kind of took some snips to uh, to snip up a little bit to make it get that uh, 3D shingle look and uh, makes it look pretty good. Got a little chimney here put on in the, uh, the post here and then I've got a one inch uh, uh, board here that I cut this uh, circle out of. The, the hole that's in the, these particular birdhouses is an inch and a half which uh, I found the, the is about the right size for bluebirds. I've, I've got one of these in my backyard and I've had uh, bluebirds the last two two springs so uh, they, that seems to be the right hole size for them but you could put any size hole you want uh, depending on what kind of bird you're trying to attract. And this, uh, like I said, if anybody wants to try this project I've got a full set of plans here that I'll have on the website uh, here sooner or later. Uh, if I don't get them on the website uh, quick enough and you, and you want a set of them, just go to the website and email me and I'll be happy to, to send you a copy of these uh, so you can try this out. But anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and keep watching for future videos. Thanks again.